Welcome to this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on ideology, science and religion, focusing on science as a social construction. So far in this series we've looked at definitions of religion and ideology as belief systems, and in this video we're going to focus on science as a belief system. There is no universal definition of what science is, rather a series of characteristics of what is preferable to those looking to study the world in a scientific way. These characteristics include objectivity, the ability to make decisions on what is observed free from the scientist's own values. That science is directly observable. Another characteristic is that science is directly observable, that it can be tested and falsified based upon empirical evidence and facts rather than being based on faith. Science is something that is based on knowledge rather than belief. And this leads many to discount sociology as a science, given the subjective nature of many researchers' interpretations of social behaviours. However, some would argue that even science is not capable of living up to these aspirations. Consequently, science is seen as being socially constructed by some. Popper suggested that one of the characteristics of science is that it, it is an open belief system one that can be freely challenged and the beliefs and assumptions of existing knowledge be placed under scrutiny from experts in a specific field. Therefore, science is capable of changing, and so our understanding of a body of knowledge is not fixed. If we were to contrast this with religion, a closed system in which criticism is seen as heresy or blasphemy, it marks out one of the more important distinctions between science and religion. It is also noted that scientific knowledge is based upon observable and testable facts, whereas religion is based upon blind faith. However, not all theorists agree that science is so open. Thomas Kuhn discussed the concept of scientific paradigms to prove this point. A scientific paradigm is a body of knowledge that develops over time, with dominant assumptions about the world that works at the centre of this set of beliefs. As part of the scientific process, when a new body of knowledge is discovered and tested, it replaces the old way of thinking and becomes the new dominant paradigm. However, Kuhn suggested that this process is often delayed, and as such, science is not as open as it professes to be. In the process of collecting new knowledge that challenges the existing paradigm, this new knowledge is subject to review by those who are specialists in the field. If they reject this knowledge, the existing paradigm continues until a new body of knowledge amasses to challenge the currently held ideas. Kuhn argues that this means that science is not an open system as it rejects information that contradicts the existing body of knowledge. Furthermore, it cannot be seen as objective as the decisions to accept or reject the knowledge is based upon the view of those in the field. As a consequence, our understanding of science is socially constructed. The dominant paradigm is a social construction based upon the subjective interpretations of the value of research by those reviewing it. Furthermore, it can be argued that science, like ideology or religion, is not an objective set of beliefs and is influenced by many external factors, one of which is the constraints placed upon scientists by the bodies that fund their research. For example, fossil fuel companies will have a vested interest in research into global warming, which may impact on their businesses. They may influence research to show what they want it to, or even reject research that conflicts with their interests. For example, research into the dangers of fracking may be discredited in order for companies to invest in this form of energy production. A second challenge to the objectivity of science comes from those observing facts. As individuals may observe from different perspectives, this suggests that subjective judgments may be made, as by errors of judgment, meaning that what is seen to be an objective judgment is in fact an individual interpretation of an event. If this were the case, then it could be argued that science is socially constructed. That concludes this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on ideology, science and religion, looking at science as a social construct. Thanks for watching.